In today's Kidsburg report, if your kids like to clown around or swing off the rafters, did you know that they can actually take circus classes right here in our area? It's a great outlet to get rid of some of that energy. Kidsburg Ambassador Euling Bear is here with a look at classes that for kids and teens as well as some adults as well. Yes, it's it's a lot of fun. You don't realize you're getting a good workout right. at the same time. Well, I tell you what, I, I think that we could use something like this in our household because <laughs> it is jumping off the furniture. It's hard to contain all that energy. Absolutely, and you want to contain it in a safe way too. Right, exactly. So you, you checked out a couple places. The first place is Iron City Circus Arts. What is this place? Yeah, so it's located in the south side and was started by two women, one of whom worked for Cirque du Soleil. And so they offer all different types of aerial arts. So you could do our aerial silks, the hoops, the trapeze and when they work with kids they start low to the this. ground and so they get comfortable being upside down working with the ribbons in a safe way so if they fall you can see they land on a huge cushion right and there's always an adult nearby to help and as they become more confident in their skills and they go higher up into the air Look at that space too. Where did you, this is in the south side? This is where, in the south side. Where in the south side? Is it, it looks like an old warehouse or something. I, I believe it is. I don't exactly know the location. Yeah. Um, but it has all the equipment that you could possibly need and they also really have neat. a performing troupe. I've actually done aerial yoga and it's so fun that when you do it, you honestly don't realize you're getting that workout in until right. afterwards because you're so focused on like, how does this wrap around me? Where am I going next? Why do I lift myself up? Right, it's a lot of control that needs to go into that. Um, also, staying kind of in the sa same realm, Pittsburgh Aerial Silks. Yes, yeah, so they have three locations, Bloomfield, Green Tree, and Coriopolis, and they offer similar courses. They work with kids as young as three or four years old. They were the first school to offer aerial classes here in 2011. Um, and what I thought was really interesting about what they do is they do a lot of outside performing. Um, they also offer classes for individuals with special needs. Oh, really? And they also offer prenatal fitness classes. This was something, and it was towards the end of my pregnancy, they just started offering it, and I was looking into it because it sounded like such a neat option. It really uses your body strength to where your body is at that moment. Right, so. right. But I love it. So you said <laughs> ages four through teens. Yes. They can do some classes for you, too. Um, and this is Becoming a Clown. How do you do that? So, RK Comedy Theater, uh -huh. located downtown Pittsburgh, you can take improv classes there. And what I love about it is you learn the basics of improv, you become comfortable working in an ensemble, and you get comfortable being on stage. I always tell people, if you want to be better at public speaking, take an improv class. Right. It's humbling, and you learn a lot about yourself, and you learn to overcome whatever your fear is. Um, and the other thing I have to mention is that they're actually having their opening ribbon ceremony tomorrow for their new space downtown in the cultural district. It's such a neat thing. I don't think that I could do that. I can do this in studio with just a couple cameras and friends, but I don't know if I could stand in front of a crowd oh, like that I and bet tell you jokes. Would be good. <laughs> um, Master juggler, this could take your clowning around to the next level. A different level. So um, this is run by CMU students, Carnegie Mellon University students, and they welcome anyone who wants to learn the fine arts of juggling, and they offer free workshops for kids. Uh, you should go to their website because that's where they post the dates and times and where they're going to meet. So, for example, they have Fuggleberg coming up November 10th through 12th in Wilkinsburg, and it's a juggling festival. So neat. I, yeah, again, this is something I don't know that I could do. I can maybe do three balls. Right. Over carpet, very soft balls, small, but for beyond maybe like that, 30 seconds. Yes. And then after that, right. Yeah. Very neat stuff. Thanks to CMU for that, offering that. And unicycling, thick bikes, and uh, Butler Wobble. What is this? Yeah, so Thick Bikes is located in the south side and they actually repair bikes and refurbish them, but that during the spring and summertime they offer weekly unicycling classes on the south side. And I happened to see one of them, and as you can see there, they work with little kids, they help them gain their balance, they hold it with them. Um, they were all wearing um, teeth guards to protect themselves. In case they fall. In yeah. case they fall, yeah, and they work on little bikes and then they grow up and they get a little bit higher off. So that's one thing, and it improves balance. I mean, if you imagine being on a unicycle, you really yeah have to know where your center is. Um, Butler Wobble is in Butler and they offer it year round on Saturday afternoons. During the winter they go inside the Butler YMCA. Maybe you can combine that with the juggling class and kind of get on the unicycle doing And tell a few them. jokes right. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is in progression. This is what you should learn in order. Uh, slack Rope Walker. So this is in Oakland and you should follow them on their Facebook group. They'll list when they'll show up and they take a slack line, which is a one to two inch, kind of like a rope, it's flat, and they tie it between two anchors and you basically learn to balance. It's like tightrope walking. Um, so they meet near Dippy the Dinosaur next to the Carnegie Library right, of Pittsburgh. Right. 
Could you put the unicycle on that thing? Yeah. <laughs> That'll you be next. You probably right? could. <laughs> so Slackline, I learned, has actually been in existence for about 40 years. Great. But it grew in its popularity in the last 10 years. Um, I've actually tried it, and I couldn't even last one second. And, and what kind of ages for something like this? It looks like most of them are a little bit older. They're a little older. One. They take all ages. Um, so I think, again, it's low to the ground. I, um, I did it with my six-year-old, and I held her hand as she kind of got up yeah. there for a few seconds. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Always thank some you. fun ideas for the kiddos and more. Uh, for more great ideas of things to deal with your kids all around our region, you can go to kidsburg.org and watch for our regular Kidsburg reports every Thursday here on PTL.